Hi everyone. I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about the area of a circle. Now we're going to look at it from a different perspective. I'm going to look at it from advertising. You'll learn a little math. You'll learn a little bit about how advertising works and how we can really start to use our STEM initiative to critically think and not just buy in to everything that the advertisers out there want you to believe. Remember, whatever they're advertising and whatever they're using, there's a reason. Be wary of great deals. So the first question I'm going to ask, we're going to talk pizza. Here we are sitting inside a lot and ordering out seems to be a way to break the monotony of the day. I get ads every day about different deals on different things. One of the things I want you to look at is which is a better value? One 12 inch pizza for $12 or two six inch pizzas for $5. Now, they seem kind of comparable. I mean, obviously we can pair them, but you start thinking two six inches, kind of get an idea, 10 bucks, sounds pretty good, but is it? Is that a really good deal, kind of good deal, or not a good deal at all? So what we have to first look at is what I'm gonna show you, my six inch pizza. Now, this is an actual measured across diameter of six inches, which means the radius is Right, three inches. So when we look, we have our formula. I have two six inch pizzas. Area equals pi r squared. Here we have two six inch pizzas. So if I take this and I look at our formula of our area equals pi r squared, I'm gonna look, one six inch pizza, pi r squared. And then I look, pi is 3.14 times three squared. 3 times 3 is 9, so 3.14 times 9 equals 28.26 squared inches. That means one of these has an area of 28.26 square inches. Now, if I have two of them, which I do, I have two 6-inch pizzas. We now, using it, multiply that by 2, and this gives me an area of 56.52 square inches. Two pizzas, that's our area. So now we're gonna look at, yeah, you know I have one, my 12 inch pizza. Suddenly it seems a lot bigger when you're looking at it visually. But we take one, one 12 inch pizza and take the same thing, area equals pi r squared, so 3.14 times six squared, which is 3.14 times 36, and all of a sudden I see 113.04. Compare these two. Do you see that two six inch pizzas are have half as much area as one single 12 inch pizza? That's quite a bit of difference. And people say, oh, I don't know, and I argue with my own children about this. But look, here's a 12 inch pizza. Here's a six inch pizza. See, and then I take it, and lo and behold, look at all that extra area. It's not really a good deal at all. For $2 more, you get twice as much pizza. Now, as we see, that's because this is the radius of this. All right, so when we look, we wanna expand out and think a little bit farther. What if we're looking at something that's not just half the size? What about two 14 inch pizzas or one 20 inch pizza? So, Yep, I've got my 14 inch pizza here. Here's my 14 inch pizza. Looking and comparing just to the 12 inch. Yep, it's a bit bigger. It's got two extra inches in its diameter, but let's do the math. One 14 inch pizza, area pi r squared, so we get area equals 3.14 times seven squared. 7 times 7 is 49, so 3.14 times 49 is 153.86 squared inches. Now we want two of those pizzas, so that's going to leave us with 307.72 squared inches. Now let's compare it to our big pizza, the mega pizza, our 20 inch pizza. So this is our 20 inch pizza. All right, and then laying over, you can see, obviously, it's a little bit different than the last one. This is our 14 inch compared to our 20 inch. 
kind of good to look at those difference. But what's the difference now? I mean, we don't have two that we could lay on the other one. So we're going to factor two of those, which we know are 307.72 squared inches, to 120-inch pizza. So as we do, 120-inch pizza, area equals pi r squared. So area equals 3.14 times 10 squared. 10 times 10 is 100. Now reviewing back, how did I get 10 out of a 20-inch pizza? Remember, R stands for radius. 20-inch pizza stands for its diameter. The radius is half your diameter. So 3.14 times 10 times 10, which is 3.14 times 100. That leads us to an area of 314 inches squared compared to 307.72 inches squared, right? Okay, the 20-inch pizza does have more area, but not by much. So if you've ever seen that, you know, two for whatever and a couple bucks more, you get one. Why would they do that? If it was similar, you could say, well, if I save $2, I might as well go for the two 14-inch pizzas. But does that seem intelligent on a marketing standpoint? I mean, you got them close, you now have two pizzas. Why would they do that? Actually, it's pretty simple. When I look at a pizza, I want to look at it and see where do the toppings go in the center, right? So you're going to have this area for crust all the way around it. Compare the two. Two pizzas, while we lose that extra area, we're talking seven square inches, that's actually quite a bit, but the bigger pizza actually has less crust and more area for toppings. And if you know anything about pizza, toppings are what cost. You know, if I want pepperoni, sausage, and a meat lover's pizza, meat can be some of the most expensive toppings on a pizza. So this 20 inch one, compared to two of those, that seven square inches is quite a bit because it's all in that center. It's all where the most expensive part, the cheese, the, you know, the meats, all those areas go. So it's actually quite cheaper for them to make two because dough is one of the cheapest things when you're making pizza. But it's kind of amazing to see how much area is a difference of just a few inches when we're talking about a circle. And then some of the more common things that happen are people make a mistake by when they calculate, they're using the diameter and not the radius. Always make sure you're using that radius because these pizzas say, you know, 14 inches. Get up top. That's from here to there. You want the radius, which goes to the center, to the side. All right? Hopefully that gives you a little better visual. I mean, as we go through and we want to compare, I showed you 12, 14, Turning it, 14, 20, and then of course, our little guy, the six inch pizza. You know, the prices do go up, but buying one single large pizza actually gets you quite a bit more toppings as well as area than just going with a couple of smaller ones. That is of course, if everybody likes the same pizza.